Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Stranger Things Season 2, Episode 5, Dig Dug, which in itself is a, a clear reference to not only Hopper digging into the vines, but of the arcade game. Overall, this was a fantastic episode. Like, this was probably the best episode of Season 2 so far where from the very beginning we see like Will and Mike talking about like Will has been possessed and he knows he has been but Mike kind of convinced him that oh if he's using you to spy on us maybe you can spy on him and he becomes like the super spy we see some more of Hopper in the tunnels and then the hot the the hole that Hopper had dug into starts to close behind him and it's super creepy but it's really well done Nancy and Jonathan get a hotel which is kind of funny because we start to see that relationship develop more and as they're going to go find somebody and they compare scars on their hands and hers is bigger so stuff like that's kind of fun um I loved the scene where uh who was it Lucas was talking to his dad about like what do you do when you and mom have a fight and his mom's like yeah what do you do and he's just like I apologize and I get her whatever she wants. And Lucas is like, well, what if she's wrong? And he's like, your mother is never wrong. As somebody who's been married for eight years, I relate to that on a spiritual level. So that's all I'm gonna say is like, I completely know where he's coming from. Um, we see the really sad moment where Dustin's mom is kind of looking for her cat still. I mean, we know Dart ate it, but the fact that she's still looking for it's really sad. As somebody who has like a ton of animals, like again, I kind of related to that. And I was like, oh, it's played more as a comedy, but it's really sad. Um, in the same type of scene, we see Dustin basically like he gets his mom out of the house. He's like, oh, somebody saw the cat over on the other side of town. So she goes to look for it and he like lures Dart out of the house and into the basement and he like traps him in the basement. He closes the door. So we kind of know some more stuff's going to happen with that. Um, Eleven goes home to meet her mom, which it's, it's just a real quick scene, but it kind of develops as it goes on. Uh, Nancy and Jonathan meet like this weird conspiracy theorist, Murray, which I have no idea where this character came from. Like, I don't know if I just missed a quick line or what, but she, they just show up at his house and he's like, tell him to look at the cameras and all sorts. I was like, where did this guy come from? Like, I have no idea how they even got his address or what. Um, Lucas and Mac Lucas tells Max all of the stuff that had happened last year. He basically like fills her in, and of course she doesn't believe any of it. So she's just like, "Well, well, thanks for trying to get me interested, but you're a jerk." And she tries to leave. Um, Will ends up seeing Hopper in like his other vision, and basically tells Mike and Joyce like he draws a, like where Hopper is, and they have to go around and match it up to the vine map around the house, <clears throat> which I love because then Bob comes over, and he's trying to like talk, and then he Joyce is like not right now, Bob, and he leaves, and he's like, well, they don't call me Bob the Brain for anything, and she's like, wait a minute, and so she brings him in and kind of fills him in on stuff, which is kind of an interesting scene because I feel like this is the first moment that I've noticed at least where Mike and Will are standing next to each other and Will is so much shorter than Mike. Like he's evidently a late bloomer or something, but that kind of stood out to me for whatever reason. <clears throat> and Joyce is like, here's what we need to find on this map. It's a game find where this X is. And he's like, well, what's the X? Is that hidden pirate treasure? Which is clearly a shout out to the Goonies where Sean Astin was in. Um, and they, Bob is the one who kind of realizes like, he, he sees Lover's Lane and he's like, wait a minute, I know that shape. And he realizes all of these landmarks and that it's, it's a map, but it's not really, it's not a map with roads. It's just kind of a map and it like avoids water and some other stuff. And so now he can start to make a map around it, basically converting it. <clears throat> Uh, we see Hopper make a torch, which kind of scares the vines before he basically gets consumed and he's almost eaten from it. Uh, Dustin, after he captures Dart, is just like, we need a code red, we need a code red. 
evidently for hours on the walkie before Erica, Lucas's sister, is like, you need a code shut up and hangs up on him. So Dustin, once again, is kind of that outcast because we see Will and Mike together and we see Lucas and Max together and Elle is kind of by herself and now Lucas is kind of by himself. But right after that, Elle, or Eleven, ends up finding her mom and she's like her I think it's her aunt is blown away that Eleven is still alive because she like takes the lock out and everything like that and they realize like there's lights flickering everywhere and she's like oh it's just bad wiring and Eleven's like no it's not because we've seen this before where somebody on the upside down can like lights flicker whenever they're they move around and that it's actually her mom trying to get in contact with her and her mom even starts getting that nosebleed so it's a really intense scene it's really well done Bob using ratios and stuff does find the X and so they go to find it and it's kind of a great scene where Bob is like what's happening like why is this like actually real um I love the scene where Mike's dad where Dustin shows up and he's like you realize your line has been busy for two hours and Mike's dad's like yeah I know and he's like well where's Mike and he asks his wife and he has well where's Nancy and he asks his wife and she, Dustin's like, you son of a bitch. And he just leaves and he's like, language. Like Mike's dad is probably one of my favorite characters. Like I really enjoy him and I kind of relate to him. Uh, we see, like I said, Hopper gets attacked by the vines. Um, we see more of Max not believing Lucas and ends up leaving the arcade and some more interactions with Billy where he's like, I told you not to hang out with him. And Max is like, it's a small town. Like, of course, we're going to run into each other. So a little bit more development there. Um, I loved a lot of the scenes with Nancy and Jonathan at Murray's where he's like, I need to think. And he starts pouring a drink. That's pretty good. And she's like, so you're thinking with vodka? And he's like, yeah, vodka is a central nervous system depressant. So I'm thinking with vodka. I love this character. Like that line alone, I was like, I'm going to start using that. You can ask my husband. Anytime I start drinking a lot, I start getting preachy and like, I don't know. But it's great. I really liked it. Um, and sure enough, it does work where the vodka is too strong. And so he's like, we need to water it down. And then Nancy gets in on it where if they just throw out hey here's what happened to barb nobody's gonna believe it but if you water it down and you kind of bring it down a little bit to like oh she got abducted by this plant you can slowly build the story and it becomes more believable so with bob mike joyce and will in the car looking for the x they finally find hopper's car and that's kind of what starts cluing bob into that this is real and they end up going into the vines and Bob is like, are we in Will's map? Like, what is this? And sure enough, they find Hopper and they're able to free him. And as they start burning the vines, Will goes into like an episode or it looks like a seizure. Like he's being, although they're burning the vines, it looks like he's the one being burned, which kind of shows his connection. And of course that's the cut scene because it, it like forces you to watch the next episode. Overall, I loved it. I thought this was a great episode, probably the best episode of season two so far. I'm curious what you guys think. Go ahead, let me know, and I will see you guys next time for The Spy.